Well, today I'm looking forward to uh, Indiana Jones. This year is very popular. A lot of people want to attend this uh, premieres. So we'll see. Hopefully I will get some more tickets. But today I'm so excited for Indiana Jones. This was my top number one priority. I'm a big fan of uh, Harrison Ford. My nickname is uh, Dickard. And Dickard is the main character in Blade Runner. I'm here because I really want to see uh, Harrison Ford. He's been one of my favorite actors since I was really young. Between Star Wars, Indiana Jones, The Fugitive, so it'd be really cool to see him in person. A lot of the films here are like heavy dramas, and so like it's just kind of fun to see like an exciting film. I like, you know, that so many people all over the world came here. They dressed up, and you know, fans of movies, stylists, like just fans of cinema. It's so incredible. A lot of people from the industry. A lot of people can meet up, a lot of people can celebrate the art of cinema and it's really incredible. I love it a lot. Surprise! I'm retiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Dad told me you found something on a train during the war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Don't move. I need to get out of here. Stop! Sorry. Helena! Dr. Jones. It was very touching seeing you on, on stage uh, yesterday and uh, you seemed very, very moved. So I wonder what was the feeling at this time, at this moment? But It was uh, indescribable. I felt... Um, uh, <laughs> I, I can't even tell you. I mean, it's just... Uh, uh, extraordinary to see a, um, um, a kind of relic, your life, as it passes, uh, um, passes by. But the warmth of this place, it makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> How is it uh, to be entering Something that is way more than a franchise, which is, a, I don't know, like a myth, a mythology. I don't know how you want to call it. It's way more than just a, a movie franchise. So how is it entering that, entering this universe? The incredible thing is once you've got a wonderful script, um, the magnitude of what came before um, sort of can, can sit to the side for a moment because it's very nerve-wracking <clears throat> coming into something that is so adored and um, there's something very um, heartening <laughs> when you have an incredible team who care about the story and the characters so much that it's about creating a new journey while serving uh, everything that people loved before about the movie. And the moment I'd spoken to Kathy and Jim about uh, what they wanted to do and how profound they wanted this film to be, as well as how fun and adventurous, um, it just became a very exciting challenge. And it's only really now that I remember, again, what a huge uh, <laughs> franchise this is. Um, and so that's all coming back up for me now. In this movie, it talks so much about time and, and, and how we deal with time and how we deal with the passing of time and where we are now, the present and the past. And I'm just so overjoyed to have made my imprint <laughs> on our history and our time and in our cinema. Indiana Jones is, was before my time, but um, it was still <laughs> a crucial... <laughs> Part of my upbringing and, and my, my introduction to American culture. Um, I'm an immigrant. I was born in another country, came to the States when I was two, and we watched um, Indiana Jones growing up. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm just overjoyed, truly. 30 years before I was born, the first film came out. <laughs> <laughs> I was 15. <laughs> Got you? Did I get it? <laughs> I was 15 when I watched it. I rented a movie box, uh, five films, and uh, I think that was the third film we watched, and it blew us away. Uh, and we watched it again and again, me and my brother. And I think what these films, I mean, they're legendary for a reason. We all wanted to be, this is way before I wanted to be an actor, but I wanted to be Indiana Jones. I wanted to be him, right? Uh, and I think that impact was all over the world. 
we talked about it yesterday. It's like there are franchises that people kind of like, and some people watch them, some are very much watched. But this one, everybody loves. Everyone loves this. And there's a reason for it, because there's a charm in the film, there's a charm in the character. This is a flawed man. He lies, he steals. We want to be like him. Uh, <laughs> and he's charming, you know. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of my colleagues, especially directors, they, they watched that film, and that's when they made their mind up they wanted to be directors. And um, I'm super proud of being part of it. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. Indy! Give him hell, Indiana Jones! A few times in my life I've seen things. I'm gonna torture with voodoo. Been shot nine times, including once by your father. Ah, sorry. But I've been looking for this all my life. I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark when I was 17 years old in an upstate New York mall on opening day, and um, it's one of the reasons I'm a movie director. And so to find myself uh, three years ago facing Stephen and Kathy and Frank and Harrison and um, and being invited to join them is kind of beyond any dream I ever had um, on the most selfish level just to collaborate with these people who are my heroes. Did you feel an extra sense of responsibility and uh, did you talk anything to Steven Spielberg before? Uh, well the last part is easy to answer yes before during and in at all stages I talked to Stephen. Um, uh, the first part was, did I feel responsibility? Well, you, you, I mean, you, you make a movie, you feel a lot of responsibility. You take on a film like this, you're aware of this added level of, of expectation that there's so much that because this is a property that is so dear to so many people, there's a massive amount of emotional attachment and expectation, and none of the expect the the Venn diagram of all the expectations are not on top of each other. There's choices to be made. You can't make them all happen. Why do you feel that now is the right time to let Indy go, or maybe you are not letting him go? <laughs> is it not? <laughs> Evident? <laughs> Listen, the first time we had a night shoot on this film, right? We wrapped up at five in the morning. We were all completely wasted, wanted to go to bed. Harrison picks up his bicycle and goes riding for 50 kilometers, okay? <laughs> so that was just a like, come on, Harrison. He's like, so what are we supposed to do, you know? So um, I think there's a couple more indies in there. <laughs> Hi, I think you're still very hot. <laughs> and yeah. and we, we were stunned to see you take your shirt off in the second scene. I mean, it's just... And, and you've still got it. I mean, how do you keep fit? And you really... Um, uh, and will you ri can you ride a horse? <laughs> <laughs> can you ride a horse? Uh, what was the last part? Can you ride a horse? Which you, you did, right, right there on screen. Yeah. And let me tell you, yeah, I can ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> if they let me. <laughs> Thank you for I didn't mean to be cruel. No. Uh, I forgot everything up to ride a horse. <laughs> She also asked how you stay in shape, but Mads kind of answered that with his Olympian story. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Were you lying? But very kind. <laughs> so you just there's, brought there's, the bike for fun? There's a partial truth there. But look, I, I, I'm, I'm, I have been... Uh, I've been blessed with this body. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs>